Interoperability is the great uh, panacea we're all looking for. And even though we, we know that systems do have certain levels of interoperability and it's only getting better, it's nowhere where, where it needs to be. We still are dealing with, uh, as uh, Farzad uh, Mustashari, one of the ONC leaders said once, we have a lot of walled gardens. And I'm mean, very familiar with the client in the US, for instance, that has six versions of their EMR, and frankly, they're not connected. They, they are not where they need to be. But with the cloud, it holds a whole different promise. You're, you're not going to be able to consume and really understand proactively massive quantities of data if you're not in the cloud. The cloud's gonna help out with a lot of things. For instance, um, once we get to the slow inter interoperability, what if we were able to take publicly available information, maybe on uh, you know what's, where they are, where they live, et cetera, uh, what, what if we took that as well as population health characteristics, zip codes, whatever it might be, and then brought in data from the client or whoever the, the consumer is, you could start bringing in things and correlate the data very quickly, very realistically. And in fact, if we went, went back five years ago, four years ago, the COVID crisis would have been something we could have been ahead of because we were working in the cloud and our data was interoperable. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, a lot of legislative changes have to ha happen globally. Uh, technically, it could be done. It gets done to legislation, I think, in a lot of places.